feel like Princess Diana. <laughs> I don't know, something about the August energy is making me feel like I want to refresh, like I want to be bald. Oh, I say that in every video. I want to be bald. Mm, no. So we're... Here's the plan. I do have to go to my job. And from there, I'm going to be going and getting a little... And then this eve, I got invited to a rooftop party. Here's where, and here's where we get a little extra with it, and here's where it turns into a, a need for this dialogue and a need for your, your company. And here's where I put to use my degree of contology from Servington University with a specialization in 2010 to 2014 makeup tutorials that emphasized the day to night transformation. Do you remember that? That was like the pinnacle of beauty guru content in the 2010s. Having a look that could transform from your work day, you know, you're at the office, to like, then you're grabbing drinks and it's Oh, we made our eyes smoky. That's the education that I need to put to use today because I have to go to my day job like soon. Be, you know, respectful and modest and not serve too hard, you know, lest the customers explode. I don't know. And then I want to be a preppy little city boy. There could be other little errands, other little shopping things to do. I just feel like spending money today. I feel like spending money and I can't explain why. And then I'm going to this party where I want to serve. Obviously. Let's find something that's easy, transformable, whatever. I've already decided on this, this kind of linen shirt that I'm- Is it linen? M muslin? Is this muslin? Can you- Oh. I'm thinking these brown trousers. Also, I wish this was iron. Sorry. Sorry. I don't have time. I just found this, like, scarf, and it's the same brown as the pants, and then that way, when I'm driving to my haircut, I can feel like old money, you know, and just be like, oh no, don't look at me, my roots aren't done yet. Come on. I feel like that's the power of a scarf, is that it's it's versatile, and, ooh, maybe I could, like, ah, turn it into, oh, okay, okay, I think that's it. And then as soon as I leave my workplace, I promise you, bra coming off, belt coming off, pelvis coming out, Okay, okay, okay. Belt. Off. You know, the bra can stay on, the bra can stay on, because I don't know how I'm going to do this in a public parking lot. So it's currently 2.30, my hair cuts at 4. Google Maps was giving me a range between 45 minutes or 2 hours to get there. 45 minutes, I'm breezy, I'm chillin'. I could maybe go sit in the park for a while, read a book, meander, grab a beverage. 2 hours and I'm missing the appointment. So let's see what it's saying now. An hour and six minutes. Easy. So I'll get there with 20 minutes to spare. We love that. So that's exactly why I went home and I packed myself a little lunch for the road. Because I knew 20 minutes isn't enough to like find parking, also grab a little bite, eat it, and then to have to sit through the hair appointment. I knew by the end of it I'd be so hangry. So that's exactly why I went home and I packed myself a little lunch. I made myself Oh, that looks disgusting. Tuna salad, goat cheese, peaches, and jam. And then I got crackers to dip in it. Is that the most efficient lunch for the road? Who's to say? Is it the one I have? Yes. Is it what we're gonna deal with? Yes. And then I also, you know what time it is. This is green tea today. Do we remember the problem I had last time? Cause look, here it is again. That wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, I don't have time for this today, you guys. I, I, there's a pond in the car. This is when you employ every car napkin you've ever collected. I need to, I need to focus. I need you to be in it with me, and I need you to feel something for me. Okay, um, girl dinner. Missing half of this beverage now. That's just gonna sit like that. I feel crazy today, and I don't want to. I don't want to, I wanna be, I wanna have a calm and collected car ride. And that's what I plan on doing, okay? And I want my hair cut. Oh. oh, just a relaxing car ride, okay? As I'm doing this, and my windows are down, I am remembering a story that one of my dance teachers told us when we were really young and I don't know, I think it was because we were given scarves to wear or because this story happened to like a famous dancer who passed away tragically because she was like riding around in a convertible with a headscarf on and then the scarf got caught on like a passing truck out the window and then like ruined her. So I don't know what to do with that information right now. But I just, I need this right now. I need it to feel the glamour.
this actually is proving to be the worst possible snack I could have brought in the car. And I'll tell you why. Because my brain's starting to do something of a spiral. I'm having to turn over and look where I'm scooping every time I want to bite, which is proving to be distracting to my driving. Crashing's never a good thing, right? Crashing's especially not a good thing when you have open tuna salad in the car. Um, because I'm playing it out in my head now. I get distracted, boom, crash. The tuna salad and the goat cheese goes flying everywhere. If that were to happen, I would have to run straight into my appointment, leaving tuna salad to sit out in my hot car on this summer's day, on this August day. All's that to say is this could go really bad. So I'm being extra cautious with my driving today. God bless. See you in the city, guys. Hi. Um, guys, my hair. Ah! Miss Mullet just needed a little bit of it. Touch up. Okay, should I be obnoxious in front of this wall? Yeah, my motive now is kind of to get a beverage in my body because it's hot. Ossington is a confusing place if you don't know kind of exactly what you're looking for because it's one of those gentrified spaces that really pulls on the trope of like making places not what they're advertised as, if that makes sense. A laundromat is actually a, an event space. A convenience store is actually like a high scale restaurant. You know what I mean? Like the exterior is supposed to look very like part of the city landscape, very humble, very New York but it's actually like not what you expect. I'm looking for a beverage, but I'm looking, this is a laundromat. The sun has gone down enough that I'm no longer having a sensory meltdown over you know, a scarf being over my head in the heat. So yeah, our look continues to transform. I think one of my big non-important goals this year is gonna be learning how to pose naturally to show my outfit, because I'm just not there yet. I feel like I can runway walk like a motherfucker, like I can, and when I'm like in the moment, I'm living it, I'm posing it, I'm working it, but as soon as I know a camera's on me, I get weird, I get weird, especially if I'm in public, and I know people can see me. So my stupid non-important goal this year is gonna be getting better at that. Okay, I'm about to witness history in the making. I also love that, like, sorry, you posted a story being like, anyone have a unicycle? 10 minutes later, secured the unicycle. <gasps> okay. <laughs> okay, it's hard, I haven't done it with like platforms that are And then you can grip onto the seat. Okay, go off. No, it's actually really easy to, to pull off. Give yourself a little push. Da, 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 da. <gasps> Here we go. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. <laughs> and here's where innovation begins and ends. And here's where 2010's YouTuber culture, transform your outfit day to night, comes into play. Let's try another way. Okay, let's do it just for fun. Just for funsies. Just because we're innovators. We're innovators. Women in STEM. See, oh, I get to Oh, I see. <gasps> no. Like that? Yeah. <gasps> now, hey, nice haircut. Thank you. <gasps> oh, <God. laughs> <laughs> 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 just turned into all the kinds of Oh, this is fun. Is it? Yeah, I know I do it. Are you kidding me with this? Women in STEM. Oh. oh. Oh, there. perfect. And that's how you transform your outfit day to night. I started my day at work, so I literally was like going into the office. Right. And then we ended strong. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, 2010's YouTuber culture. 
Shenanigans. <laughs> Today. Some anal ointment to go. Party favors. Everyone look under your seats. Everyone gets heavy cream. Tonight's sponsored by I just sat here and ate four cupcakes back to back to back. about this beautiful day to night looks dead what i'm saying what if any swag is transferable my look always day to night because i'm always dressing like me Ooh.